Howdy on Wolklax Lives. I think it's time to play a little Hidden Secrets 2. Alright. Uh, so, we're still going to be working on paths. <laughs> I'm never going to be done with paths. Uh, now I know that somewhere out this way is... Ninja's place. Is this Ninja's place? I don't know exactly where Ninja's place is going to be. Um, so it's a little difficult to path to it. But I do know where his store is at. Um, these are weird. What do these mean? Those, like, don't build here. Um, but I'd like to get, uh, I don't know. I don't want to build on other people's area, but I do, I do know that I've got at least one more path over here. Or bridge that I'd like to put in, so I do need to get some more wood. So I guess we can start with that today. And uh, see how that goes. Uh, my axe is looking weak. Weak. Oh yeah, I haven't uh, started working on the edges of the of the uh, river yet either. I need to get working on that too. So much work on these paths. I just uh, I know the last place I was building the UFO at the new place. I just make paths. That's it. That's all I do. Paths. Paths. Moo cow. How's it going, Moo cow? Hard things. Ah, uh, yes. So I, um, spent quite a bit of time playing Cyberpunk this week since it's new. Uh, I'm digging it. It's, uh, it's good. It's not, it's not terribly unique to me, though. Um, I run into a little problem where I consumed in my past, uh, and I probably still do, large quantities of media, whether it's books or video games or movies and so it's uh <clears throat> it's rare for something to hook me uh hard and um so far i'm not seeing it for cyberpunk uh it's cool and all and i am enjoying it um, but it's not, like, amazing yet. Um, it kind of super makes me laugh, because it's, it, the storyline is so much like Johnny Mnemonic. Um, great, I've got to back up everything but an axe. Alright, well, i got to go find an axe. Really? What was that? The guy's just like, eh, I don't feel like it. I'm just going to jump up, strip him down. Oh, I put, put one there. 
you could pretend, but I I just don't feel like it. It's fine. I'm just just down here. Um, slight spoilers, I guess. Well, major spoilers uh, for Giant Ammonic, but um, it's funny to me because Giant Ammonic is this movie uh, starring Keanu Reeves uh, where he is a courier and um, they smuggle items by putting chips in their heads and or they download the data into their heads uh, and then hide it by saying they're like, um, I think his is a dyslexic implant. And um, so, uh, but the data they put in is way bigger than what his implant can handle. And so it's causing data bleed into his brain and he's hallucinating <laughs> and uh and so the movie is about him trying to uh find someone who can pull the data out of his head and it's like it's like a the parts of the city are like post apocalyptic bleed runner you know uh, gangs fighting each other with cyborgs and stuff like that. And then the corporations are chasing him. And, you know, I'm just like, so then you start playing cyberpunk. It's the same story. Uh, not quite, but it's super close. And it's got, it's got Keanu Reeves in it. Only instead of being Johnny, uh, giant demonic now he's johnny silverhand <laughs> like i'm like whoa that's just that's funny uh um but the gameplay uh kind of reminds me a little bit of um uh deus ex um uh, and uh um watchdogs Uh, <clears throat> it's a lot like Deus Ex, uh, to be honest, and um, but it's it's good so far. Uh, I uh, one funny thing that I've had to do is um, because it's a driving game, and I'm playing on my computer. I like to I like to play shooters with, uh, you know keyboard and mouse and um <laughs> driving doesn't work so well with a keyboard and mouse and so i keep my controller uh, on the arm of my chair here and so when i need to drive someplace <laughs> i just swap them i was gonna try and go get the rest of the wood from that tree i started but i have no idea where i even start chopping that thing down. You know what else we could probably do is get a bunch of sand from the desert. Now we're supposed to leave one desert pristine. And I think we're supposed to go through the trees here. And there's another desert. Is that it right there? Yeah. So it's not even that far. Uh, problem is, is I am never, ever going to remember what direction this is. Yep, that went right where I wanted. Got okay, here, grass. You know, it's causing me issues. Go that way. You think that I think I'll be able to notice that? That's my go that way arrow. I'll do one over here too. I should put a bridge in here. 
Wish a path to this place. I think I'll do that. Uh, all right. Ooh, I don't... I don't have any supplies on me to make paths. Who are we kidding? I don't think there's any way I am going to be able to manage to line these up either. Like, where am I at on this scheme of things? Like, I guess it's here. Yeah. Yep. And then I don't have any of my bridge fixings. I don't have my wooden stairs. I don't have my cobble stairs. I don't have my cobble slabs. It's just not a thing. I am tempted to just... I don't have any torches on me to make it easier to get sand. I don't... I do have torches on me. I lied. I lied. Right there's a torch. I was looking for torches, and then I couldn't find them. I wish I had some TNT. That's what I used to mine up sand last time. Okay, we'll just start here on the top of this. Give him some sand. Yeah, I haven't found it too glitchy yet. There's been a couple of little glitches, but uh, it hasn't been completely glitchy. Um, although sometimes it's my computer is just glitchy. It's pretty old. I didn't realize how old my computer was. Um, but I was talking about... I don't have any problems running the game. Uh, I see a lot of people posting how they how they uh, are having problems. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not... Uh, FPS person, um, which a lot of people are, and so I don't view the game in a manner where I'm like, oh, I'm not getting 120 FPS. I just, I don't care. Uh, as long as the game runs smoothly and, um, you know, not stuttering too bad, I'm fine. Whatever. Uh, if, if that means I'm running at 30 FPS, 60 FPS, it just doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it just needs to run smoothly, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't want a smooth 10, you know, it has to be fast enough that it looks like it's in motion. Um, but, uh... I am I am running it at the highest sitting uh, with no noticeable lag, like no video lag, no screen tearing, nothing. I don't I don't know, um, which is why I looked up what my processor was because people were like, I've got a blah 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 blah, and I'm like, man, mine's my processor is getting pretty old. Uh, I've had this computer for a while, and all I've done is um, I've swapped out the video card like four times now. And um, I wouldn't mind getting a new processor, but a new processor means a new motherboard, um, which I guess is just two parts. And, uh, uh, well, I mean, then you need like a new new processor, a new motherboard, probably a new cooling system. Where are you going, guy? Right here. See this right here? This is... I don't even remember where the torches are supposed to go. They go on top. They go on the insides of these. I don't remember. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought something was biting me. 
I mean, technically, uh, what's biting me is hunger. I hate to tell you, but you're in the path of the road. Not that I even know where this road is going. Oh, that was a great switch to an axe like I just tried. This would do better if I knew where town was. At some point here, I'm going to stop digging up and just go through. I think we've reached the just going to dig through part. I mean, it's just going to be one block down because I'm going to fill this back in with cobble and... Oh! Well, it was gone too, but I don't know, I'm broke down. Oh, we can bridge across that little pond here. Uh, I think we'd have to bridge across my river again, coming this way. Uh, where is the bridge? The bridge is there. So yes, we would need... We would need to bridge across the river. Dang it. I forget. I forget that you can't build on stupid grass. Stupid grass, oh, stupid grass, always causing me problems. Uh, I don't have a shovel now, so I need to go make a shovel. My thought was that I would replace most of the, of the, uh, bottom of the rivers with sand with gravel and cobblestone here and there maybe some well no i can't i want to do like buttons and slabs but the water doesn't flow in a way that makes that uh helpful okay Get out of here, dirt. You're, you're making me not do what I'm trying to do here, dirt. I just want to make a couple of shuffles. Dirt. I don't want to be so mean to the dirt. Dirt. Okay, so like here, Ooh, I had to scratch my eye. Uh, sand.
Otherwise, you have muddy river bottoms, man. Nobody wants muddy river bottoms. I feel like that's going to be a lot of sand, though. Like... Now, I am going to leave some of this as just dirt and stone. Um... Let's see, this way it looks like the water has pushed the silt down, right? Um, honestly, it depends on where you're at, what your river bottoms look like, uh, I guess. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of river bottoms around here would just be this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have very stony rivers where all the all the stuff has uh, the stuff, all the silt, all the sand has just washed away. This one's already done for me. If uh, running water in this game wasn't such a lag fast um, I totally would have just made all this running water very carefully but nobody wants running water like that so you know, I said it's gonna work on paths today, and this is not even this is not even a path. This is just me replacing river bottom with sand. Weird. Uh, also been playing the Rage Two. Uh, that is laggy. Not laggy. That's not laggy. Glitchy way glitchy uh like it's been out there a long time to still be like can't get the game to load when i first started playing not that's not true can't get the game to play without crashing when i first started playing let's let's say that uh so bad that i thought i wouldn't be able to play and that game's been out a while um and, uh, which is going to make me sad because Rage 2 was a game that I was super looking forward to. I, uh, Rage 2 is a much less complex game than Cyberpunk, but they're not dissimilar. Um, I actually think Rage is a little closer to, um, to, uh, Borderlands. Um, there's not the same level of item, uh, randomness, though, and, um, I'm a little disappointed at the lack of an actual sniper rifle so far, uh, I don't think there's one in the game, like a real sniper rifle. There's a uh, thing that um, that um, it's kind of like a sniper rifle, and it's kind of like the sniper rifle that I have in Cyberpunk right now. I do see that there's another kind of sniper rifle, but I haven't found one in Cyberpunk that's at my level that I can use because cyberpunk is a bit RPG. Um, you go up levels to unlock new stat increases, I guess. Um, it's not really a ability kind of thing. Uh, I, uh, I find the whole, okay. Wow. I can't keep on a single topic. So let's finish this thing. Uh, the sniper rifle uh, that I'm not so enjoying is um, is 
like a energy based weapon and it charges up uh to fire more powerful shots um and this is this is woo, this is narrow right here this i guess it's okay it's not a path i was like this path is narrow but this isn't a path this is a river and um so uh in in rage it's not too bad although i i don't like the charge up aspect of it like if i'm sniping someone i'm probably trying to do it from concealment and having to stay out there long enough for my gun to charge because uh um i think they're both like they're not like charge up and fire they're charge up and they fire you know it's not like hold the button down until it's fully charged and then let go when you want to shoot it's hold the button down and it'll charge up and when it's fully charged it fires uh so you have to stay out and targeted until it fires i don't really care for that uh, i just want a big bullet gun that puts a hole in things you know oh yeah i think that looks better I like the. Oh, see, look at it. he approves too. He likes it. Uh, I do want to go back through though and and take out some of the sand and put in some gravel and stone here and there just to give it a you know randomly textury kind of look. Um, you know what? I just don't have supplies to, uh, to make a bridge. Ah, oh, dang it. I hate that there's not the click drag crafting that automatically... Oops, what are you doing? to just make things um the uh, the rpg aspects are a little weird in the game uh i don't um i don't find the slight so i i don't this is a thing this is a thing that is in games now is the um it pretends to be an RPG. I'm I'm used to the kind where like you go up a level and you get new abilities, right? And uh uh it feels like a lot of new RPGs are like uh so we got like uh four abilities that you're going to have for the entire game. And so when you go up a level, you don't actually get new abilities. Um, either we've locked our crafting recipes behind levels, which don't make any sense. Uh, it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to make things as you go, but it doesn't make sense to me that those crafting abilities are part of spinning your ability points. Like, why are recipes locked behind ability points and not skill ups? Um, you know, like I personally in real life could take a piece of leather and, uh, you know, like an animal skin and, um, sew a bag out of it. It would be awful. It would rot. Uh, there'd be holes where I tried to stitch it. Uh, the strings would just look terrible I never figured out how to make those nice, uh, you know, sewed up at the end things. I don't understand how that works. I barely understand how to start sewing. Um, you know, so it wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't last long. My skill is bad. That's what I'm saying. My skill is bad. And so... Uh, I can understand that quality and items that you can make would be behind, oh, dang it, levels. 
I, I get that. Crafting levels. I get crafting levels. I get why that would be a thing. You know, I put those torches down, but they actually go on top, don't they? And, um, so, I mean, that makes sense to me. Uh, what doesn't make sense to me is being like, oh, you can spend an ability point after you leveled up to unlock the ability to use rare recipes. Like, shouldn't that be an RPG thing? Like, I... I get like your guy suddenly gains the ability to throw fireballs, right? That's a that's an internalized thing. Not that you throw fireballs in in Cyberpunk. Um but I I just don't get the I just don't get the weird um locking crafting stuff behind skill ups. I I should have to find recipes. Yes, I maybe find someone who can teach me how to how to do it. Yes, but I just suddenly gained the knowledge. No, nope. Uh, I know it's a weird thing, but uh, so the the RPG aspect of Cyberpunk is not as fun to me because there it's percentage increases you suddenly do 5% more damage because you put an ability point into sniper or into rifle damage abilities. Mm, like, why? How? Like, that's not... Why isn't it like... Because aiming is done by me, so that's my personal in real life skill. Um, oop, that's not right. And, um, oh, well, uh, and, uh, I think this is how the, the episode ended, uh, two episodes ago. It just kicked me off. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's weird to me to have those tiny stat increases as ability scores. Like I wasted three levels worth of points just to get a 15% increase. Uh, and it wasn't even in something cool. It was just in regular weapon damage. 15%. I I have an item on a piece of armor that increases it by 30%. So you'd think that your personal skill up would do something more powerful or, you know, special. I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. Well, with that, be better than the small things. Lean to the light. I will talk to you later. Thank you.